Hello, first grade friends. Welcome to a new week. This week we are reviewing sounds. We're reviewing sounds that we already know because they're tricky. So this week we're going to be looking, one of the sounds we're going to be looking at is the long E sound. Now the long E sound says its name. So the name of the letter is E. So the sound that the long E makes says E. Now, the long E sound, when you are spelling words, can be spelled with E E, E Y when it's at the end of a word, E A, or I E. These are all different ways to make the long E sound when you're spelling a word. So today, I want you to go grab your whiteboards and markers and bring them here to the screen, and we are going to look at some sentences. And since you've already looked at some words that have the long E sound, you're going to listen to the sentences I read. And you're going to try to read them yourself. And in these sentences, you're going to listen for the long E sound. Any word that you see that, or hear that has the long E sound, you're going to write it down on your board. And after I'm done reading the sentence, you can pause it so you can write down your words, and then I'm going to reveal to you the words that have the long E sound. Now, I am going to tell you right now, I am in a very tricky mood today. So, don't just look for letter patterns. You want to really listen for the long E sound, which long E says... E, very good. So here we go. Your first sentence is, we need to see the team steal the ball. We need to see the team steal the ball. You can go ahead and pause me if you need to right now. And you need to look for all the words that when you say them out loud, you hear that long E sound. All right, we are ready for the big reveal. Did you have these words on your board? We says E. Now it's not one of the patterns we talked about because it is a red word. It doesn't make sense that E by itself is saying E, but it does say E, so we highlighted it. Need, says E. See, says E. Team, says E. And steal, says E. Let's try another one. She feeds three monkeys bread. She feeds three monkeys bread. Go ahead and pause me if you need to. I will also give you bonus points if you can write down on your board the word that is a pronoun in this sentence. If you can find the pronoun in the sentence and write it on your board, you get bonus points. All right, we are ready for the big reveal. She feeds three monkeys. All of those words have the long E sound. Now again, the word she being a pronoun, she is also another red word because the E alone doesn't normally make the long E sound. But I highlighted it because it does say E technically. Now if you put bread on your board, be careful. I tried to trick you in this one. Bread has the EA pattern. But when you say bread, do you hear E? I don't either. All right. And if you put your square around the word she as your pronoun, you are correct. Excellent job, my friends. Here we go. Next sentence. I read that easy book last year. I read that easy book last year. Pause me if you need to. 
find, write down on your board all the words that have the long E sound. Listen carefully to this one. And also, I put another pronoun in this sentence. So if you can spot the pronoun, put a square around it or write it on your board. All right, time for the big reveal. Easy and year both say have the long E sound. If you wrote down red, it does have the EA pattern, but I try to trick you again. Red is the past tense of read. So it says eh instead of e. And if you found the pronoun I was talking about, it was the word, the pronoun, I. And if you found that, give yourselves a pat on the back right now. Awesome work. You guys are amazing. Next sentence. The weak bee landed on her head. Listen for that E sound. The weak bee landed on her head. All right, I'm going to tell you right now. There are long E words. There's another pronoun in this sentence. If you can find the pronoun, write that on your board. Pause me if you need to. And here is the big reveal. Weak. And B are the only words in the sentence with the long E sound. The word head, when you say it, do you hear E? Head. I hear the E. Eh. So E-A, again, make the E eh sound in this word. They don't say E. So you've got to listen for your sounds. If you wrote down the pronoun her on your board, you are absolutely correct. Very nice job. You guys are awesome. I'm so proud of all your hard work. Keep listening for that long E sound and also keep looking for them pronouns. Have a wonderful day and I will talk to you next week. Deselm out.